So here we are in this foyer uh, leading to the American Gallery at the Portland Art Museum, and we see a line up of portraits. Some of them, the ones that are closest to us, we can see they're very elegant, they're very European. They date from uh, the late 1700s, early 1800s. And as we are walking down this foyer, we're coming to the end of these formal portraits, and suddenly there is a woman the portrait of her portrait is distinctly different, wow. and now we are smack in front of her. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> wow, she is, that's completely different than anything that we've seen. Uh, she's much more flat. She's full frontal. Uh, it almost looks like her head and her body were painted at different times. Well, to me, she looks kind of like a, a flat paper doll body with a real face. In mm. other words, sort of a stock body. Reminds me of those things at the carnivals, you know, where you get behind the, the, the <laughs> right, scene, right, you know, right, and you right. put your head in, <laughs> click. <laughs> does look like that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. So this, this is Erastus Salisbury Field. He was called a limner. He was an itinerant painter from the colonial days. They would travel throughout the countryside painting portraits of middle-class people. Field was known for his likenesses. His, his work was well regarded because he was able to capture, apparently, the likenesses of the sitters. And, I mean, take a look at her face. It is very realistic. Yeah, he captures the likeness without capturing the personality, somehow. Kind of get a bit of her personality there. I think she wants us to know that she is very pretty, very, well, he's got the characteristics or the attributes there of, I wouldn't say wealth, but certainly middle class, but she is literate, she's reading, it looks like there's a quill pen, so she's writing, she's holding a letter. This, is, this painting was done in 1830, which is in the very early, early stages was, of yes. his career. I, mean, I think this is the starving artist out earning, earning his meal. I think know? so too. I yeah, think he's, he's, the, he's the entrepreneur. He's the American yeah. entrepreneur who has decided to go out and figure out a way to make a living. Absolutely. And the way that he's going to make a living is by giving people what they want. And this was the style of middle class portraiture at the time. And this is rural. Remember, remember exactly. uh, this, this painter was traveling around on horseback. He had his canvases with him. He would stop at a home either in a prearranged uh, agreement or just simply w passing by. The people who lived there, if they were able, would hire him to paint a likeness of mm. them. Mm. And so, you know, in order to do it quickly, he probably had almost a paint-by-number kind of body well, and, and, for, the, and, for the person. And Field had gotten it down to almost a science. He mm -hmm. was able to come in and in one day paint your portrait and mm -hmm. be done and then off to the next town or to the next person. But there are things that tell us about this woman. We know that, that she is, um, her family is relatively well-to-do. Mm -hmm. She has a lovely jewelry on. Uh, it looks like gold jewelry. But then you look up at her eyes. Mm -hmm. And her eyes they sparkle. are, yes, I mean, mm -hmm. she's a real person. So um, we have this cartoon figure and yet this real face and real hands. So I, I have a new admiration for, for the young woman and her time. I see a sort of reticence in her that I think probably is typical of rural young women of the time. She wants her picture. She wants people to know that she can have a picture and that she has nice jewelry and that she knows how to read and write and has a book. But that's all we're going to get to know that's about her. That's all we're going to get to know about her. <laughs>